Hi there, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope your day is sweet as a cupcake. It's been a while since I've sat down and filmed something. Hey, yeah, <laughs> because I have some videos already filmed or whatever. They're like they're like vlogs, but I haven't got a chance to edit them. And I think this video is gonna go up before those because I've, this video is just like get ready with me. Um, another one. I think I did. A, a get ready with me before already. I think I've I've been doing a lot of get ready with me because I think it's easier since I'm already getting ready. Might as well film it while I get ready, type of thing. I think it's easier to edit and to like put up and stuff like that. So this video will probably be up before the other ones that I have already filmed or vlogged. Um, it's just me getting my lash extensions and yeah, this is gonna be two different videos. It's two parts. I'm not gonna upload. Either one into both already. So, yeah. So, I just finished doing my eyebrows. I finished, like, I did a mud mask. I did, like, a clean a moisturizer on my face. And all that good stuff. Um, so, now I'm just gonna go ahead and do my eyes, you know? I'm entering what I'm getting ready for. I don't think so. Um, I am getting ready for an interview. And it is for Sephora. I'm really excited because if only you knew how much, I mean, how many times I've applied there. Try so many times to at least get it into you. This is a, the farthest, farthest, farthest that I've ever been to. I'm like freaking nervous because... And it's like super close from my house. It's like 10 minute drive from my house. And even like with the bus, it takes like 15 minutes. And so it's so easy to get there. Oh, by the way, um, you see, I don't know if you noticed, but my skin looks really good right now. Like compared to my other videos like when i have no makeup my acne is super bad so i will be doing a video on what i did to help decrease my acne and what helped it slow down and like prevent them or whatever it's been working for me and like after so many trials after so many um skincare products that i've been trying i finally found something that works for my skin so i'll do a video specifically all about that sometime soon and i'm really excited to do film that video because like honestly my skin feels good it looks good right now. for me this is good yeah i don't know about you but i feel like my skin is good right now but today we're gonna get super glam. It's actually been a while since I've gotten super glam. Oh, it's only been like two weeks, I think. That's it's a while. Um. Uh, so funny story. I almost dropped out of school. I just had a huge. It's just barely the second week of school, and I already had a breakdown. But luckily, I have my family and friends that is helping me get through this. And I know I could do it. I'm almost done. And I've always, I've been having like thoughts of dropping out since last year, but last year I just put it through, so I could pull up another year, just one more year. It's cause my whole, my whole like classes got messed up because, um, a previous advisor has told me that I was almost done. I was supposed to be done on last spring. But she did not tell me about all the art court classes that I need for my major. So I'm just taking all my art court classes this year and I should be done by spring. Um, but yeah, that's and like me failing bio so many times, also left me behind. But bio, I'm doing good in bio right now. It's pretty, I know it's a pretty second week, but I feel very confident in bio. The professor is super nice. She's so sweet. She's so sweet. She's so adorable too. So sweet. She's not even boring. Like... I know bio, for me, bio is boring. I don't like science. And she's actually, like, makes it very fun. She has this, like, cute little, like... Uh, how do I say this? She has this cute, um... Um, how do I say this? This adorable sense of humor, I suppose. 
I don't know. But yes, um, she's actually making it, making the class easier for me. Let's see what else, what else we're talking about. I don't know what else to talk about. I talked about the interview today. I talked about, oh, well, okay, so I'm going to tell you guys a little story of how, um, many times I've tried applying to Sephora. I've been applying to Sephora since. A year now i think i have been always applied but i would always get rejected at one point after so many rejections <laughs> i kind of stopped trying and then one day i went to sephora just to get a sample um of a product and then um i was just curious like oh you guys hiring and then she was like oh my god yes um we're actually gonna start looking at applications this week so you we like um you know like just give me your name stuff like that and like because i told her i had applied already but i don't know if the application was old or not whatever and she's like no okay i'll con i like um i'll get you the contact for the hiring manager so she gave me her info i just got really into this i look and kind of stopped talking okay so she gives me her contact information whatever I call her, let her know, blah, blah, blah. But she said she was going to go check if it's still there. If not, she would give me a call and let me know she couldn't find my application. And so then she did call me, letting me know that, um, well, at first I had to keep checking myself, you know. They asked me to, like, keep calling and trying to see if when she ever got a chance to look at the, the applications. And so then uh, one day she called me, letting me know that she couldn't find my application. And that day, I was with my friends, I was hanging out, and then she calls me, letting me know if I could uh, reapply in the next 30 minutes, since she was going to be in her office there, so she could just quickly take a look at it, and see if I would be able to go in the spa for an interview. So then, I uh, saw so we were nearby my school, so we rushed, me and my friend rushed to um, back to our school, and I went to her computer, I applied again, it only took like 15 minutes or so, but then, oh my god, the computer kept on failing on me, it kept on messing up, I had to restart my account because it wouldn't let me apply again or something, I don't know, like saying that, oh, this email's used already, blah, 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 and I was like, oh, so it was taking a long time, and she was only going to be there for the next 30 minutes or so, so it really took me exactly like 35 minutes, the application was easy, but it took me 30 minutes because the computer kept freezing. So then it took me like 30, 35 minutes and then I called her and um, she took a look at it, blah, blah, blah. Um, I didn't thought I was going to get like that like, pre, like, pre-interview type of thing. Or, like they asked you questions previously before she thinks of giving you a in real interview. So then she says, I all these questions um, and I answer them, you know, my best ability. Uh, so then, um, yeah, and then she tells me that she's going to look for a spot for my interview. And then not too long ago, later on, she calls me again. Tells me, actually, there's an interview this week, which is today. Would you like to come in? And I was like, yeah. So then, yeah, um, I got a spot for today. It's a group interview. I get really nervous in group interviews. I'm just really scared not to be called back and not get the job. Because I've been trying so long, so much, and I really, really, really would love to work there. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just really want to work there. <laughs> yeah, that's my story of how I got the interview. Hopefully, this could be a story of how I got the job. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the hiring manager was so nice to give me, like, um, the notice and stuff like that. So it was so nice of her. And, you know, like, I made it this far. I used to hold this punch wrong. So, like, I used to do this. Like, I used to hold this. Like, the thicker part on top, like this. When it's supposed to be like this. It's more comfortable and more um, easier to use. Yeah. Oh, I'm at the library. Um, 
me see what else I gotta talk about. Mm. Uh, I got a funny story, I guess. So I take the train to school and back home or whatever. And uh, one day um, there was this guy, like super drunk, whatever, talking about. Um, he was talking about his problems, and then he was like, you will never see me again, so I really don't care, you know, whatever, like, what you, like, talking about my stuff, you know, to you, because you will never see me again, you know, blah, blah, blah. But he wasn't talking to me, he was talking to someone else. The next day, I was at school, and I see him. I was like, oh, snap, he goes to my school. Talking about whoever was in the train, I was never going to see him again. Yeah, he was like super gone. He was gone on the train and everything. He's like talking about loyalty. He's talking about women being um not important or something like that. I got triggered, but he was drunk, so it's not really worth it to say anything or whatever. But yeah, then I saw him the next day at my school. It was weird. I was like, oh snap, that's the drunk dude from the train. That was funny. I said, I hate, I hate, I did it again. Shuba, a shuba di do do da. Shuba di da ba 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 ba. I drank too much coffee. <laughs> oh, I also forgot. I, gotta, I have a six pack vlog that I haven't even started editing. So that should go up after the Lash Obsessions Experience vlogs. Um, So stay tuned. And tomorrow, get ready with me. I'm just gonna finish my face makeup and I'll be right back to show you guys um, the final look and I still gotta do my hair so I'm just gonna stop filming right now and I'll just come back whenever I'm done I'm just gonna show you guys my outfit right now so it's this cute top that I got from Ross and this skirt that I've been having for a while this is a skirt that, okay this is actually the skirt that I mentioned in my H&M haul also um, yeah I got this been a while when did i get it? i don't know but i've been having this skirt for quite a while and some white flats that's pretty much it for this outfit i'll probably come back here when i get off an interview um i'll let you guys know how it went i was nervous for an interview but this is a big deal because this is a far we're talking about and i've been wanting to work here for quite a while so like I'm back from the interview, um, not a little while ago, I just ate something real quick and yeah, um, I did awful, I, I was really nervous, like super nervous, like super, super, super nervous. Um, I met great people, they were so nice, I'm super happy if I do get it because I, I don't know if I pass or not because it's like another step another interview if you pass this interview then you can move on to the next interview with the top top notch of the person that hires people i suppose i was gonna wait for that phone call and if i don't get that if i don't get the phone call then that means that better luck next time <laughs> or like if i don't get it you know keep trying keep trying i mean i made it this far to at least an interview so i would try again um maybe next year or maybe even like a different Sephora or something like that. Mm -hmm. Keep going to school, focusing on school, um, and doing my freelance makeup, you know. Uh, oh, and I don't think I've ever mentioned it in any of my videos. Um, but I do people's makeup. I do have clients. Like, I do their makeups either at my place or at their place and stuff like that. So you go check me out on my Facebook page. Um which should be in screen and description down below. Also on my Instagram, I put up some photos of when I have clients in there, but mostly focus, like I made a specific page on my makeup business on Facebook, which is Nereida's Glamming Beauty. Um, that's only if you live in Chicago, around this area. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos coming up. Um, don't know when. 
Uh, but that is all I have to say. Uh, follow me on my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, which I still haven't posted anything. But yeah, my Facebook um, makeup business page. If you want, give that page a like and follow me there. I'm, I'm a little bummed out because I feel like I could have done better. I feel like I showed lack of confidence and lack of words. Like I did not talk enough. Not talk enough. I feel like I didn't answer the questions very efficiently. Like I didn't even, I don't think I answered the questions very well. I did a lot of hand movements. I was, I was just a mess. But yeah, let's just hope for the best and let's just keep on moving forward. So, adios. Thank you.